What is an API in the world of programming and how does it work? Let's take a look at that in this video. Hey there, welcome back. In the next couple of videos, we will be talking about the basics of API. So let's dive right into it and talk about the main topic, which is what is an API? So API enables communication and data exchange between two separate systems. And if that sounds confusing to you, think of it like a messenger that takes a request and tells the system what to do and provides a response. Now you must be thinking, what do you mean takes a request and provides a response? Well, let's take a look at example and to truly understand what API does. So I'm on this website, travelocity.ca and I've searched for the hotels near New York City and it gave me a list of all these different hotels. But how does this website found all this information of these different hotels? Well, that's where the API come in play. So you see, in most cases, websites like Travelocity or other travel booking websites don't store this hotel or flight related information in their website. All they are doing is requesting this information either from these hotels or some separate service that provides this information to the help of API. So this information comes in either JSON or XML format, which then websites like Travelocity leverage and then show us in this nice beautiful format. So let's take a look at a live example to see how exactly this works. So what I'm going to do is right click and do inspect. This will open up the dev tools where we can actually see what's happening behind the scenes. So I'm just going to refresh. And what you will notice is, is over here, I'm seeing this hotel search, which is exactly what we are doing right now. We're searching for hotels. And here, if I scroll down all the way at the bottom, you will see this request header. So you know, when I mentioned you make a request and then you get a response back. So if I scroll down here, I will see the request that I made. So here, for example, I made a request flights um, hotel from Toronto to destination New York City to adults and basically the information, which is our start date and end date. This is this will match exactly the same of what we put over here. And so this is the request we are putting and we get the response back once we make this request. So the response over here is this entire JSON format that we are getting. So for example, if I go to preview, I can actually see a list of all these different hotels in my JSON format here. Now this is pretty massive. So you kind of have to do some digging here to actually find out where that information is. In this scenario, I already did it before. So what I can actually do is kind of um, show it to you guys directly. So what I will do is scroll down and I will see a search result which is over here. And in my search result, I'll just basically go down and this is the result that we actually that came back from the request. And I can basically click on the first one. And if you notice here, we have our Inc 48 hotel, which matches this. If I click on the next one, I will see this freehand New York, which is the next one. So here basically is what the information we are getting back. And what the developer does is they take this information and convert this into this nice, beautiful UI format. So this is basically what, what's happening behind the scenes. So you get this information in a JSON or XML format, and then we are actually taking this information, converting into the, a UI format. Also, if you notice here, they're using Google Maps, which is also an API that Google provides. So all this different listing you can see in Google Maps also. So this integration is also done with the help of API. So similarly, you can take advantage of these different APIs and build websites or applications like this. So all you need is an API that is providing you the data or the service that you're looking for, and you can integrate that in your website. Let's take a look at another example now. So imagine when a developer is building a new application and if he or she needs to, let's say, implement a calendar or maybe a GPS or even a calculator, they don't go around and build that from scratch. What they instead do is use existing applications with the help of API that either Google or Apple or any other companies have already built and all they do is, is integrate that in their application. So imagine building something like this from scratch every time a developer is building a new app. It would take a lot more time to complete that development. So aside from just accessing data, API also helps reduce this kind of complexity by letting one system talk to another and take advantage of its services. So to make sure you truly understand this topic, let's take a look at another example. Now let's say you have a website and where you want to sell products or service and you would like to take payments from your customer. Instead of building an entire payment system from scratch, what you can do is take advantage of existing payment system companies that are out there. For example, PayPal. So PayPal have this detailed API documentation, which as a developer, you can leverage and use it in your website. So they have done all the hard work and you don't have to worry about how to set this up on your own. Similarly, you will find a list of many other free APIs or public APIs that you can use for your website. For example, you can go to publicapis.xyz and you will find a list of many free APIs that you can use for your websites or application. 
For example, over here, they have this open weather map. So let's say if you're building a website related to weather, you can take advantage of this open weather map application. Or if you want to do some other applications, you can actually go to categories and find a list of all these different APIs that they provide. So this way you can build really powerful applications with the help of these APIs. So to wrap it up, think of APIs as just a way for a system to communicate or talk to each other to get the information you want. So I hope that clarifies your understanding of what API is. So in the next video, we will talk about what is a REST API and different methods of REST API. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe to my channel to keep watching more content like this. That's it for this video folks, I will see you in the next one.